Being a former US president definitely has its perks. You get a pension for the rest of your life, can afford some of the most expensive homes, go on the best vacations with your wealthy contacts all over the world, and have some cash left over for accessories. Plus, you don't have to hold one of the toughest positions in the country anymore. So join us for today's video where we take a look at how the former US presidents spend their millions. Bill Clinton After he left office in 2001, President Bill Clinton was able to cough up $1.7 million to purchase a home in Chappaqua, New York. The five-bedroom, four-bathroom home is a three-story Dutch colonial building built in the style of an old farmhouse in 1889. Over the years, they made plenty of renovations and improvements to the home on Old House Lane. They started buying the land around the house as well and built the Clinton Compound, which includes a three-bedroom home on one and a half acres of land next door. It's the perfect quaint getaway for Bill and his family. And to stay closer to his wife and friends still working in the nation's capital, Bill Clinton purchased a home in Washington, D.C. on Embassy Row. It's a Georgian-style townhouse built in 1951. And although the asking price was over $3 million, the smooth talker scored it for $2.85 million. And while the home boasts seven bedrooms and five bathrooms, it's primarily used by his wife Hillary, giving her all the privacy she needs. Personal mementos and artwork adorn the walls, antique rugs cover the floors, and sculptures are perfectly placed throughout. And as a fun surprise for the guests, there's even a painting by James Bond, Mr. Pierce Brosnan himself. And when President Clinton is traveling the world giving speeches and meeting with fellow former politicians, he's doing it in style. No way is the man flying in coach with the rest of us. He's chartering private planes from anywhere between $20,000 and $40,000. He often works with executive flightways, which offer clients a wide range of private jets with some running up a tab of $7,500 an hour. But the Clinton team has been known to favor the large and lavish Gulfstream 450. He's also been spotted as a guest in his close friend's private Boeing 727, which has been fitted with luxurious furniture throughout. Clinton has also been seen traveling to Quebec and staying in the lavish Manoir Hovey Resort. Manoir Hovey spans 35 acres, and one room alone costs upwards of $600 a night. But that doesn't include the food and entertainment. The family spent about a week at the resort, so they spent at least $10,000, which for them is just a drop in the ocean. There's also the vacation that brought President Clinton to the Dominican Republic. Turns out the former president loves it there so much that he goes there often. His resorts of choice are Casa de Campo, and Punta Cana Resort and Club, both with rates starting at $500 a night. And you know the Clintons are splurging on the private suites. But believe it or not, Bill Clinton is also big on watches and collects timepieces from the likes of Audemars Piguet, Panerai, Jaeger Le Coultre, the list goes on. Two of his most expensive watches are from the German watch manufacturer A. Lange & Sonne one being a platinum Grand Langomatic Gang Reserve, which is limited to just 100 pieces. That particular piece goes for around $30,000. He's also been seen wearing a Richard Lang pour le mérité, which costs around $65,000. Barack Obama After leaving the White House in 2017, Barack Obama and his wife Michelle bought an $8.1 million home in the exclusive Calorama neighborhood in Washington, D.C. It's an 8,500-square-foot Tudor-style mansion with a whopping nine bedrooms. There's plenty of room for their political guests, celebrity friends, and their two daughters each have their own suites in the house. While the home may not be as extravagant as others we've seen, it is still plenty luxurious nonetheless. The home has white wooden floors throughout, and lots of suede and leather armchairs for Obama to ponder his post-presidential life. 
Then there's the $11.75 million home in Martha's Vineyard that sits on 30 acres of land. The Massachusetts home is just under 7,000 square feet and offers perfect views of the Atlantic Ocean. It boasts seven bedrooms and eight and a half bathrooms with lots of stone fireplaces for some fireside chats. There are also two guest wings, so anyone staying over can feel like they're staying in a private hotel. And not to mention the humble two-car garage, pool, and detached barn. And once President Obama left office, he had plenty of time for travel. In 2017, he flew to Milan on a private jet and spent two nights at a five-star Hyatt hotel for a reported $10,000 a night. But when the jet touches down, there's no way he's taking a cab. Nope, President Obama had a 14-car convoy to make sure he got to the hotel safely and in style. When that was over, he ran over to Tuscany to spend some time at a $20,000 a night hilltop villa. The man also loves getting from A to B fast, and after having gotten used to Air Force One, private jets abound. There's the Bombardier jet he's chartered from Swiss company VistaJet, and he's even boarded Richard Branson's Falcon 900EX. Then there's his annual Hawaii vacation. The Obama family has stayed at the Hale Rena estate that rents for anywhere between $5,000 to $10,000 a night. And after private airfare, lodging, entertainment, special requests, and so on, these vacations can get very expensive. Although the total of these post-presidency vacations are unknown, it is estimated that while Obama was in office, they cost the government $3.5 million because of the amount of precaution taken when transporting the president. And Obama's taste for the luxurious can also be seen by what's on his wrist. Although Obama usually sported a modest Yorg Grey watch when he was president, he's since upgraded to a white gold Rolex Cellini which cost him about $15,000. Donald Trump President Donald Trump spent a pretty penny before and during his time in office, so you know he's spending even more afterward. Currently, the man owns more than $122 million in real estate. His main residence is in the building that bears his own name, Trump Tower. Naturally, he owns the $54 million penthouse, which is over 10,000 square feet, and allegedly houses the famous gold toilet. It's located on New York's Fifth Avenue and has some one-of-a-kind views of Central Park. But when President Trump needs to get away from the city life, he retires upstate to his home in Bedford, New York. The 39,000-square-foot mansion sits on 213 acres of land and has 60 rooms, 12 bathrooms, two servant wings, a marble pool, and a bowling alley. This more suburban home is worth $24 million. Then there are the homes in Florida. President Trump owns multiple properties in Palm Beach with a collective value of $25 million. But don't forget about Mar-a-Lago. The home was originally on the market for $20 million, but Trump managed to talk them down to just $8 million. Not a bad deal for him. All in all, this house is insane and dripping with luxury. There are gold-plated sinks, antique furniture, and even a 20,000-square-foot ballroom. This ballroom alone cost him $7 million when he built it in 2005 for his wedding to Melania. It looks like a palace fit for a king and their court. But don't forget about his private golf club where he goes to hit the green, blow off some steam, and maybe even close a few deals. And it's so big that it has a private helipad so the former president can avoid the area's beach traffic. And since Trump isn't flying around in Air Force One anymore, he'll have to settle for his private Boeing 757 with his name emblazoned on the sides to remind everyone he owns the skies. While the model itself is built to hold 239 passengers, Trump hates sharing and had his plane outfitted to fit just 43. There's a silk-lined master bedroom with a big screen entertainment system, a master bathroom with 24 karat gold fixtures, and a full shower. 
Even the plane's seat belts are 24 karat gold, and the upholstery has his family crest. The man knows what he likes. And so how much did this personally outfitted Boeing cost the former president? A whopping $100 million. But you never know. We may just see Donald Trump flying in the presidential suite of Air Force One again. And then, of course, there are the wristwatches. President Trump typically sports a gold Patek Philippe Golden Ellipse, which sells for about $16,000. When he's not wearing the ellipse, he's opting for the even more expensive $38,000 Rolex Day Date, which is fitting for Trump since this watch is often referred to as the President's Watch. George W. Bush Remember President George W. Bush? Just because he's out of the limelight doesn't mean he's not living it up in his own way. After leaving office, the former president went back to his roots and retired to his gorgeous Texas ranch. While the home itself is a bit more on the modest side, it still sits on 1,600 acres of private land. The home is made of limestone, just one story high, and has three bedrooms. But the small home allows them to focus on the sprawling landscape surrounding it. They've planted native red cypress and blue bonnets, which they can enjoy on their sprawling outdoor terrace. The interior of the home boasts a more rustic look with lacquered hardwood floors, well-maintained antiques, and many of the walls are adorned with the former president's own artwork. Unlike some of the other presidents on our list, this is his only home, but the perfect place to finally find some peace and quiet after having one of the hardest jobs on the planet. The man is well into his 70s and has likely left the high-profile party life behind him. And this quaint little home away from it all only cost him $1.3 million. Now that he's living on his post-presidential pension, there's no way that George W. Bush is flying commercial with the rest of us. He prefers to go the route of a private jet. And while it's unclear whether he owns or charters the jet, he's been seen flying the skies in a prestigious Gulfstream 4. If he does own it, a second-hand Gulfstream 4 still comes in at about $2.8 million, which is more than twice the price of the Texas Ranch. If Bush were to buy new, however, you can bring that price up to $26 million. So even to charter the Gulfstream 4, you're looking at spending a pretty penny for the weekend. Jimmy Carter Then there's President Jimmy Carter. President from 1977 to 1981, he's now 96 years old and lives quite a humble life after having served the highest office in the country. The oldest living former president still lives in the ranch home that he built with his bare hands in 1961 in Plains, Georgia. And while it probably is worth much less than 60 years ago, the ranch today is worth just $167,000. And believe it or not, President Carter typically spends the weekends with friends and neighbors eating from paper plates, drinking budget wine, and enjoying homemade yogurt with his wife Rosalind. He still even buys his clothes at the local dollar store, and his favorite brand of watch is a simple Timex. But despite the frugal lifestyle, President Carter receives a yearly pension worth almost twice as much as the price of his house. And he still earns royalties from all of his 33 published books over the last 40 years. If you're flying commercial out of Georgia, you may even run into President Carter because he's rubbing shoulders with the rest of us with a smile on his face. Jimmy Carter has even been recorded shaking the hands of every single passenger on a full flight. The plane may have taken off a little late, but it was worth it. He even still flies out to the presidential inaugurations. The man has more money than most, but still enjoys the simpler things. And although he chooses to live below his means, he's the perfect living example that happiness takes many forms. So, whether they're living it up in Milan or playing a quiet game of bridge home on the ranch, these former US presidents may each spend their millions a little differently than the last, but they still do it right. But what do you think? Did we miss anything that these presidents spend their money on? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Remember to hit that like button 
and make sure to subscribe to Insane Luxury if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.